Welcome back people, we've got some more Fishing Planet for you guys here again today. They have brought a new mission again. Anytime I do live streams, I always use face camera mic. Anytime I make videos like this, I just use the mic. I hit record, it's a lot quicker. And that's how I get the good video clips. If you are stuck on any other mission or any other fish monster mission, complete them all. I made a playlist of just Fishing Planet on my channel. Check it out and you'll find the mission there. But this is a new mission, dropped the other day. Um... The reason why I'm late on this, I normally always share the updates is always on time and I always let you know about updates and all that kind of stuff, always sharing new DLCs and whatever. But the reason why this is a little bit late is because um, sadly my, my dog passed away. So um, yeah, the day this update came out, my dog passed away and I just, I just wasn't, yeah, I w definitely wasn't feeling playing gaming or doing anything to be honest. So uh, apologies that it is a little bit late, but anyway <clears throat> let's get into it um, so my rod setups are a little bit heavy duty for this to be honest um, so yeah you, you could probably do this mission with the most weakest rod there is and you'd still be able to do it the main thing is it doesn't have to be the same setup as me as long as you're using the same hook size and the same bait and you're casting in the same spot that's the main three things as long as you're doing that and then you'll be able to catch these fish. But I am using the Cazador rods, the best bottom rods on the game. I also do use a Heavy Chaser, which was part of a DLC pack I brought. But normal Heavy Chaser, or as I said, even the most weakest rod in the game, will do this as long as you can cast at least uh, 150 foot. So yeah, you have to get 150 foot. Through doing this mission, I did do it pretty quick, if I'm honest. wasn't really too time consuming. But, um, yeah, it, I didn't really earn any money from it, so uh, make sure you got a bit of cash to do it. So I'm using the Cazador rods, different size hooks I've put on. I've put on some Hash 4, I've also put on the Hash 6 on this rod here, as you can see, and then um, a Hash 8. So that's the different hooks that I'm using, Hash 4, Hash 6, and a Hash 8. Obviously, when I catch the fish themselves, you can look in the top right, and you'll see what bait and um, what hook I'm using anyway. But yeah, rod doesn't have to be as good as the setup as what I'm using. As long as you're casting in the same spot and same hook size, same bait. And then, yeah, you're good to go. I noticed that you can catch these eels in the daytime. But when I fish, sea fish in real life, I do catch quite a lot of eels in the night time. So... That's why I'm specifically going tonight. Yeah, I know you can definitely catch them in a day because I have caught them in a day. But for this, I'm just going to go to the night time. I feel like it would work that little bit quicker. So I'm going to do that. After this, after this mission, um, we're, we have to get the eel cannonball monster. Now to get that monster, we need to first catch five of the eels and catch them and we have to release them if we keep them it's not going to work it won't count as we've caught that fish so we have to release um but once we've caught five it will once we've got five it will then give us a bait and the bait is eel doll bait so that's what we need we need the doll baits so that way we can then catch the cannonball monster it's well the eel cannonball monster so this is the stage one of it me showing you this casting 150 foot when i catch a fish i'm going to set a marker just because it is night time and uh, try and make it a little bit more easier for you guys to see but 150 foot every time does work quite well you can get them obviously a little bit closer in a little bit further out as well but it seems like the sweet spot is about 150 foot just out just out there and as i said i will set a marker for it so that way um you can see exactly where it is so this video clip here of my first one was a little bit late hit and record but there it is so we click release and then that will count as one there you go so we, that's one we need four more which again i'm going to be showing you me catching those but let me set a marker real quick just so that way you guys can see so just on the edge of the deep blue bit there on the map obviously I did show that pretty quick, but you can always pause the video if you want to see exactly where I am on the map. You did see where I spawned in. You did also see to where whereabouts I walked walked to as well. Don't really need a big net either because they're not very big fish, but definitely after 9 o'clock works. Um, 
cloudy and um, moon at night works. Star of night, not so good. I think probably the best way and quickest way to catch these eels is going straight to nine o'clock on a cloudy night. Just a cloudy night seems to, yeah, there seems to be quite a few of them around. So cloudy night is the way to go for sure. So here's, oh, oh no, oh no, I, oh no. Okay, um, apologies for that. I always, uh, it may, I, I, I'm not even going to edit it. I'm going to leave it like that. It may, as I've said before, it makes it more, it's more of a real life video. <laughs> makes it authentic. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, apologies for that. <clears throat> okay. Anyway, another fish on. And uh, this one's on the hash six hook. I actually didn't look actually because uh, this is actually a voiceover. I didn't look at um, what size, um, what other hook size I caught these eels on. But I'm pretty sure the ones that I've chosen, the four, the six and the eight. And obviously there we see the six. Let's see what one this is on. This one's on the six as well. Mm, okay, maybe maybe the six could be the better way to go. Yeah, maybe maybe the six might be the way. Um, but medium cut bait works quite well. You can also use obviously small cut bait. There is other types of bait you can use to catch these fish, but as the most important thing is is that size hook and where you're casting. So yeah, you could if you haven't got medium cut bait, you could. You could definitely do it with small cut bait. You could probably do it with other types of bait as well. Um, thinking about it, actually. Let me think. So, uh, small cut bait, medium cut bait. Um, probably night crawlers would work. Um, actually, I can actually see it there. It also says cheese as well. And crawfish, shiners, uh, night crawlers, shrimps small minnows so yeah you can catch these fish on quite a lot so there you go that is mission complete didn't take very long pretty quick we now have the doll bait which is what we needed now we've got that we can now go and catch the ill cannonball monster that video is going to be coming tomorrow i'm in the process of making that right now as we are speaking whilst doing this voiceover so um keep an eye out for tomorrow if you're new don't forget to subscribe if you want to support the channel a little bit more we also now have memberships click the link in the description below if not by subscribing sharing the content anyone who does share i really appreciate it, it does help me grow as a content creator we are one or two subs away from 6k so thank you everyone for that as well really appreciate you guys thank you for showing the love i know i haven't been as active as normal as i just got so much stuff going on in real life right now a little bit of a strain i'm trying to get through but um yeah keep an eye out for tomorrow's video it's going to be great catch you people again soon for some more fun and games i'm out